Ponds are awesome when you have kids and you're using the space for recreating, um, ball fields, things like that. Um, on a corporate campus like this, um, it was just kind of an unused green space. There were three different species of milkweed in the seed mix. Those will help provide habitat for monarchs that are laying eggs and spring blooming flowers, uh, all the way through late fall blooming asters and goldenrods. We'll see also songbirds that prey on insects as well. A ton of really great benefits with those native plants um, compared to the turf grass that was here before. These are really deep rooted species. Really helps with stormwater retention, erosion control. It opens up spaces in the soil, helps with soil compaction. So this is what the seed looks like. 32 wildflowers, six grasses, and one sedge, all of them native to Minnesota. Okay, the reason we put these plants in is because to get immediate gratification. It'll take somewhere between one to three years for this to fill out. So putting these plants in, we'll have color this year. And then the winter will come, hard freeze, um, and help promote germination in a lot of those native seeds that are kind of laying dormant here this first growing season. We're seeing a lot of schools, libraries, churches, corporate offices switching over from this um, extensive use of turf grass to these low maintenance uh, native plantings. It's really just hand pulling of weeds here and there, becomes a really nice low maintenance system, free from constant mowing, don't need to fertilize, we're not watering these. Um, they're just really easy to have in your yard. Well, let's say you don't have a quarter acre, maybe you have a 10 foot plot, you can do this. You obviously wouldn't use a tractor, but you could get a sod cutter, you could get a tiller. You just wanna make sure that your soil is really pliable and that the seed to soil contact is good. Or of course, if you have plants, make sure they're rooted and you could have a prairie too. These projects can actually be pretty easy on a small scale, whether you're just incorporating native plants into a mulch or rock perennial bed. You can find native local origin plants. Those are well adapted to our conditions here in Minnesota. We don't have to worry, are they winter hardy? Are these gonna come back again next year? So this is so exciting and right now, a little final seed to top it off. Yeah, this is gonna be fabulous. If you come by Carol 11 on General Mills Boulevard and Highway 55, you'll see our prairie growing over the next three years. We hope we have lots of new friends, birds, butterflies. You guys are doing a good job with bees. We should hire them. Yeah. I'm an excellent seed. You know, bro. the three of us don't get together very often, so this is a pretty special project, and we appreciate your input as well. We'll continue to follow this over the next few years. We're excited, we hope you are too. Good job, Laura.